It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. We take a look at the Timberwolves. They were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. And I think for Minnesota, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Yeah, and it's too bad, really unfortunate, because I did think the potential was there. But at this stage, I think we've seen their best, and it's not going to be good enough this season. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you very much. We all know Anthony Edwards went first overall in 2020. And his teammate Carl Anthony Towns said, I know what all those pressures are like. When you're the number one pick, if any other rookies do well, there's a threat to the throne. But with Edwards' confidence in his talent, you get the sense he'll be just fine. Guys? Good point. No pressure, D.A. Thank you. And already, Greg, we're seeing some of the new wrinkles that players have added to their game. No doubt. The, the work doesn't end when the season does. And if you're trying to improve your skills or if you're trying to pack on good weight, that kind of stuff needs to get done during the offseason. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Towns is out there with Torian Prince. And it's Beasley in at the three spot. And for the Hornets, the guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Bridges and Washington are up in the forward positions. And it's Plumley in at the center position. Ball, the pass to Rogier. Bridges outside. Plumley finds Bridges. Four on the shot clock. And the basket by Rogier. Boy, that confidence really obvious on Rozier's jumper. He's knocking it down, and you can see his team didn't doubt it either. Now, here is Russell. It's Prince on the wing. It's Edwards on the wing. Rozier defending. Releases. Edwards can't hit. The Hornets on offense. Bridges attacking, and it's slammed in by Bridges. How about that burst and bounce from Bridges on the throwdown as he rolled right by the defender? Here's Russell. 23 points his last outing. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Edwards against Rogier. What's the screen? Edwards kicks to Prince. And the three off target. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Hornets. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough. But to get blown out like that? I know. I mean, I'm with you there. It just seemed as though they were sleepwalking their way through that entire game. It was, in my estimation, just inexcusable. Bridges kicks the ball. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Ball is so smart with the ball in the pick and roll situation. Already handles these sets like a 10-year vet. The Timberwolves have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Boy, what a rookie season for LaMelo Ball. He was the third overall pick and saw immediate action for the Hornets. And in my mind, Kevin, I thought he was the clear rookie of the year front runner early. Hornets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Ball, the pass to Plumley, Back to Ball. Over Prince. Rocket six. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. And Ball began his rookie season coming off the bench. But eventually, they had to find a way to start. Yeah, clearly, Greg, he needed to be in the starting lineup. And he actually started until the wrist injury. He showed that he was an elite rookie. 
This team has a great future with him running the point guard spot. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Russell against Ball. Easily outside. Here's Russell. Here's Towns. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the call. Charlotte the foul. Well, I like the way Towns plays such a physical style. It's tough on the officials, but the fact that he doesn't mind initiating contact gets him to the strike. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Free throw drops for Towns. And Towns, not known for his rim protection, but he's improved in that area recently, challenging and changing more shots. He's perfect from the line this time. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a lot of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area. And, and we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here is Russell. He has been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy bucket. Here's Ball after Torian Prince's bucket. Ball surveying the defense. With the drive, and Ball slams it in. Well, that sudden burst by Ball is so effective. Zipping in before the defense can react. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Four-point game. Here's Towns. Passes it to Prince over Washington. That one a little long. Hornets have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Ball dishes to Plumlee. Charlotte moving it around. Russell against Rogier from 10 feet out. No good that time. And Minnesota now the other way. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rogier. That's his first foul. Timberwolves trail by four. It's Edwards on the wing. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rogier. That's foul number two for him. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Rozier. So it's the Timberwolves now. Prince outside. Back to Beasley. To the inside, Towns. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. What a nice job getting up to deny that shot. Washington showing you terrific anticipation on that rejection. Tips it up, and it's Russell with that extra effort. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And great instincts, too, guys, anticipating where the miss was going. Now, here's Bridges. Last time out, he had 13 points. Here's Hayward. Here's Washington. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Well, I tell you, you look at Washington's motor and his effort, a lot to like about both. I mean, he uses his length and instincts to do a good job on the glass. Hayward against Edwards. Over Hayward. Another shot. That one doesn't drop. Plumley with some nice D. Hornets leading by four. Pass to Bridges. Into the lane. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Bridges has got his second bucket of the night. 
Well, I love the athleticism he brings to the table. Bridges can really score on the move and still maintain control of his body in those tight windows. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Outside, Russell. Towns in the corner. That three off the mark. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Here's Ball, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And one thing about LaMelo, Clark, you can't ignore the size he has at his position. You know, he's 6'7", Kevin, so that's big for a point guard, and it allows him to see over defenses, and I also think it helps him as a rebounder. That's good from Ball. Boy, what a path for LaMelo Ball. I mean, he played in Lithuania and New Zealand while he was a teenager and eventually the third overall pick of the 2020 NBA draft. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. McDaniels checked in for Plumlee. Kelly Oubre comes in for Bridges. And Booknight comes in for Washington. Timberwolves also changing it up. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Prince. Vanderbilt comes in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Edwards. Now, here's Beverly. Here's Reed over Hayward. Reed misses. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. Pass to Booknight. Now, ball. Wide open. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Ball's got 11. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Timberwolves trail by 10. Now, here is Russell. To the paint, here's Towns. Stolen by McDaniels. The pass to Booknight. Here's Hayward, and that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Charlotte making a switch here. Smith is checked in. Akogi's checked in for Minnesota. Noel comes in for Russell. Oubre. Not a lot of room. McDaniels kicks to Oubre. Shot clock at five. And the Hornets miss again. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Clark, you know, road teams accustomed to hostile crowds, but it can go too far. Players have been very vocal, saying respect the game and then respect us as human beings as well. And, Kevin, I couldn't say it any better. It's that simple. It's not complicated. The right to say anything you want doesn't come with the purchase of a ticket. I think human dignity, common courtesy and respect supersedes whatever feelings you might have about a particular team or player and overrides whatever price you paid for your ticket. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They're leading by eight. And here is McDaniel. 
No points in the game yet for him. Here's Oubre. Off the layup. Minnesota's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Noel passes to Beverly. Great D that time from Oubre. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Hook Knight passes to Smith. 4-3. Oubre. Vanderbilt with the block. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. And that's just another mistake. I mean, they, they've got it on autopilot and they look totally dejected. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Book Knight. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Now, here's McDaniel. Here's Hayward. Rebound by Akogi. Passes to Noel. Wide open look. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Hayward. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And describing Hayward as a scorer, I think a good word is determined. I mean, he'll take contact if he has to. And whatever it takes to get his points, he's willing to do. Timberwolves trail by eight. Now Beverly. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Now here's Booknight. He's guarded closely. Here's Hayward, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Noel, no good. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Smith. Feeds to Hayward. Pass to Oubre. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. And it's working for him. You like that initiative, not settling for stuff on the perimeter. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. Free throw, good, Oubre. And Kelly Oubre, the new face on the Hornets, was hoping to get a bigger deal in free agency. The market, though, just not there for him. Ended up with a two-year deal in a situation where he feels he can show his worth. The Timberwolves have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And, you know, I really think the hard work they've put in in the offseason and so far this year really making a big difference. I mean, they've made a huge improvement in their shooting at the line. And he knocks down the first one. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. 135 left to play here in the first. Smith with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Book Knight passes to McDaniels. Inside. Hayward. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Here's a Kogi after Gordon Hayward's bucket. Pass to Vanderbilt. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. 
Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. The swaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Here's Noel after the basket by Charlotte. And Hayward with the block. Boy, that's excellent defense from Hayward. He did a nice job challenging. He got a hand on that shot as a result. The pass to Noel. Shot clock at six. For the three. And they recover it. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's Charlotte with it. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. 11-point game. This is their first chance this season playing the Timberwolves. Yeah, faced off twice last season, and it was a split between the two teams. Well, you know, both of these teams know and understand when they face off, it's a very winnable game for either one of them. LaMelo Ball getting it done for the Hornets. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. And an unlucky history of injuries for Gordon Hayward. And he understands you got to take the long-term perspective deciding when to return. There's certain times where it's not our decision to not play. Um... There are certain times where guys want to play and the coaching staff and the training staff feels like it's in the team's best interest to not play. You know, there's certain injuries you really can't play with. And great teams are more sophisticated than ever when it comes to injury prevention. And training staffs are now expected to anticipate risks. So at times they'll know before the player does that there's a concern. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And uh, the Hornets have been rolling right along, haven't they? you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. They've got McDaniels. Kelly Oubre out there with Book Knight. Then there's Ish Smith. And it's Rozier in at the two guard. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Smith outside. Pass to Book Knight. Over in the corner, Rozier. Unloads from nine. McDaniels kicks to Rozier. Noel passes to Akogi. And rejection by McDaniel. Smith on the wing. Defended by Beverly. Vanderbilt with the block. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Some changes for Charlotte. Bridges is checked in for McDaniels. And Washington subbed in for Booknight. Minnesota also making some changes. In for Vanderbilt. And it's Malik Beasley in for Josh Akogi. Six on the shot clock. Oubre finds Bridges. Over Edwards. And there's Bridges on the assist by Oubre. Bridges has got six. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And here's Beverly. That's tipped. Here's Oubre. Beasley with the rebound. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Anthony Edwards, the top pick of 2020. Not the most polished player early on but his ceiling is through the roof. For Minnesota, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Yeah. 
Bad free throw missing. So many top picks come in ready to play, Greg. Edwards a part of a class that needed more time, though. Yeah, the talent is clearly there. And don't forget the pandemic cutting the college careers of many of the 2020 draftees short. Edwards, though, has all the tools to be an incredible wing player. Looking at who's out there now for the Hornets. Plumley comes in for Oubre. And it's ball in for Smith. There were plenty of big expectations for Anthony Edwards, but he went first overall because he's that talented. So I know he can rise to the occasion. Rozier for three. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Beasley with it. Now guarded by Plumley. Prince outside. He kicks it to Russell. Trying to find Towns. Gets it to him. No one near Edwards as he lets it fall. Off target with his three. Hornets leading by 11. Over in the corner, Rozier. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. And that'll be his third foul so far. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Russell looking it over. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Russell's got seven points in the game. For Charlotte, they've gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Pass to Washington. Back to ball. And then jammed down as he goes right over Anthony Edwards. Tell you what, the competitive spirit of ball, I absolutely love it. This guy is relentless. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. That's the Washington. For three, Bridges got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. Sets in motion a four-game road trip for them. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. There's the pass to Prince. It's Edwards on the wing. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Terry Rozier. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well, but I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. And the first one drops. Hook Knight, he's checked in for Terry Rozier. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, if they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Taking matters into his own hand. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Shot is good, and the Charlotte lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Russell. Now here's Booknight. Edwards defending. Bridges right side. And the rejection by Towns. 
using all of his height to smother the shot completely. Emphatic block that time by Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Now here's Booknight. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Ball against Prince. Ball, the pass to Bridges. The offensive rebound. Here's Washington. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Looking at the last game for the Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Heat. Prince misses. Hornets leading by eight. Bridges attacking. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. The Timberwolves have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Here's Russell. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. You like what you have there. Russell crafty with the dribble. And the Hornets call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. The Hornets have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Ball with it. He's picked up by Russell. And Ball slams it in. But it's great seeing Ball finish with strength like that. Showing off the athleticism with that rim-rocking throwdown. Timberwolves trail by 8. Now Russell. He's got 12. Kicks to Prince. Let's the three fly. Hook Knight with the rebound. Hornets have gone 7 to 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. In the corner, it's Bridges. He's looking for Plumley and finds him. Shoots over Towns, off the left rim and out. Minnesota's gone 4 to 7 on three point shots in the second quarter. And the officials call him for a three second violation. And the Hornets making a change here. Hayward's checked in. Hornets leading by eight. Ball with it. He's got 17. Hayward outside. Bridges kicks to Hayward. Bridges inside. Started by Prince. Bridges misses. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. And Beasley, here we go. A kick out to Towns. Another miss by Minnesota. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Now here's Booknight. Started by Prince. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Torian Prince. And what makes Book Knight so difficult to guard? His ability to hit jumpers off the bounce. He's got a great handle and the quickness to create separation. I, I know it's unpopular with the analytics crowd, but his pull-up from mid-range is money. And he makes the first. Daniels is checked in for the Hornets. Minnesota also with the sub. Vanderbilt's checked in. He hits both from the strike. Timberwolves trail by 10. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. 
generally the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And DA, as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around it. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Down by 12. Passes it to Towns. Over ball. Out to Russell. They need this one. Hayward grabs the board. Hayward's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside ball. He dishes it to Hayward. Pass to Washington. Here's ball. He takes it in. Minnesota with the rebound. Edwards got four rebounds in this game. And here's Russell. 12 points for him. He kicks it to Towns. Beasley with a clean look. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Beasley's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Timberwolves. Russell against Ball. Down low. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniel. Well, you know, it's obvious that Ball knows exactly how to work the angles. He gets the ball to a wide-open shooter just about every time. Minnesota's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. Outside, Towns. Outside, Edwards. Kicks it out to Beasley. And again, Minnesota with the triple. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. One forty-nine left to play in the first half. Unloads from 13. A nice shot by McDaniel. McDaniels got six here in this quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. And that one drops for him. They opened the gates and he came through. D'Angelo, quick recognition. Hornets leading by eight. Here's Booknight. Pass the ball. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. And when Towns is on the floor, the attitude of this team, Clark, completely changes. They play with so much more confidence. Yeah, I could not agree with you more, Kevin. He's a floor raiser. In other words, he makes everybody else play a little better and lifts up their confidence. And he does it while also putting up monster numbers of his own. The first free throw is good. As a young man, Towns was as impressive as a student as he was as an athlete. I mean, he graduated high school with almost a 4.0 GPA, and in his last semester at Kentucky, he did have a 4.0 GPA, and that was studying kinesiology. That's no easy major, folks. Catching up on the changes for Sharp. Oubre is checked in for Washington, and it's Ish Smith in for Bookman. And there's the pass to Hayward. Green, 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 green. To the wing right side. Ball finds Hayward, and he banks in the layup. And it's six points for Gordon Hayward. You know, he may not be the biggest, most physical guy, but Hayward can score inside with the best of them because he's strong enough, and he's really crafty. Ball against Beverly. Passes to Reed. Here's Vanderbilt. Tries a three. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. The feed the ball. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Beverly deciding where to go with it. Pass to Vanderbilt. The tray. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Now, here's Ball. He's got 17. For three, Smith. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Hornets lead by five.
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, PJ. Hot start offensively. How do you continue that in the second half? I think we did a great job of attacking the rim and kicking out to our teammates and making open shots. So uh, we got back away from that in the second quarter, but we got to do a better job of that coming out of halftime. Stick with what works, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. What a start for LaMelo Ball. He ended up with 17 points, two assists, and three rebounds. Kenny, your thoughts on the Hornets' first half? The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. And Shaq, what would you think about Minnesota? You know, they haven't shot the ball very well. Not nearly enough quality looks. Right now, this game can easily come down to shot selection and how they run their offense. They need to keep the ball moving and generate better looks. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Man, we're seeing a tremendous game from LaMelo Ball. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of and if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, the backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Malik Beasley out there with Torian Prince. And it's Towns in its center. And you know, once Russell catches fire now, let him eat. I mean, he's got the ability to take over games with his scoring. Here's Washington. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Timberwolves trail by three. Get there, get there. Edwards passes to Russell. Just five to shoot. Shot by post. It's rebounded by Charlotte. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Washington. And then Washington with the dunk. For a fluid, agile penetrator. For a guy his size, he's nimble-footed. And Washington does a good job around the rim. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Russell against Ball. Cloaked loose. In the corner, it's Bridges. Here's Plumley. And it's off the back rim, no good. And it's Mason Plumley with the foul. That's his first foul. Rogier, he's checked in for Smith. Timberwolves trail by five. Beasley outside. Edwards passes to Beasley. Basket counts. Beasley's got his third bucket of the night. Beasley just outworked the defense there. I mean, was able to get into a shot and get it done inside. Al Russell. He's got 16. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Kicks it to Prince. Six to shoot. Ball against Edwards. Shoots over ball. Edwards can't hit. Hornets leading by three. Ball, the pass to Bridges. And here is Washington. He can't get it to go. Prince with the defensive effort. Beasley outside. 
It's Edwards on the wing. Towns, and it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got 11. Boy, good effort that time from Towns on the offensive board, ensuring that his team is able to end that possession with points. Ball against Edwards. Ball no good. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Russell against Ball for the lead. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Plumlee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rozier into the lane. Yep, that one goes. He's got eight. Boy, pushing hard, Rozier able to catch the defense off guard that time. His speed, the difference. To the inside. Towns, no luck. Hornets have gone two of six from the field here in the third. And there's Rozier on the assist from Plumlee. Rozier's got four points this quarter. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. From 12 feet out, another miss by Minnesota. Charlotte leading by five. Bridges attacking. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. And I really think this is the time to do it because this is a real important juncture in the ball game right here. Edwards kicks to Prince. Russell against Ball. From 15 feet away, Russell no good so hard actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly towns against ball plumley in the post looking at his numbers he averages a bit over nine points a game and creating a little separation here gaining some confidence yeah you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit Timberwolves trail by nine. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Russell against Ball. Right side, Russell. Easily outside. Just two to shoot over Plumley, And that one goes long. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. On that drive there, you can see Bridges anticipating the resistance and the contact and still managed to stay focused on getting into the shot. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Yeah, but I also like the balance because they're doing a great job of getting inside and converting around the rim. I, I really like their aggressiveness. That free throw, no good. You know, one of the things that endeared Miles Bridges to his college coach was he was a superstar in talent, but played with a blue-collar mindset. Kelly Oubre has checked in for the Hornets. Book Knight comes in for ball. Minnesota also making some changes. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Noel comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Russell. And he's good on the second. Timberwolves trail by 10. Edwards passes to Reed. Here's Noel, covered by Oubre. Driving in, back to Reed. And he finishes nicely on the layup. I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. And one thing about Nas Reed, he knows how to play within himself. You're absolutely right, Greg. He doesn't force shots. Rarely takes any shot that's contested. That's why his efficiency is so good. Basket good. 
Plumlee's got four this quarter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Reed. The shot, no good. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. And it's slammed in by Bridges. That athletic ability gets Bridges to the rim there. He almost uh, totally shrugged off the defense. And the Timberwolves with possession here. A 12-point game. Pass to Reed. To the paint. Deflects the pass. Noel makes it off the glass. Noel's got nine points. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. And here is Booknight. And the pass to Rozier. Good on the triple. And the Hornets lead by 13. To me, this is Rozier's game in a nutshell. A confident, quick-thinking, shoot-first point guard. And Minnesota has possession. Edwards with it. Passes it to Noel. Reed with it. Working on Plumlee. They grab their own miss. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Yes, that goes in. He's got 11. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Rozier, the pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Here's Oubre. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Easily in the post, covered by Oubre. Now, here's Reed. Defense is right there. Vanderbilt, and rebounded by McDaniels. Hornets leading by 13. Hayward finds Bridges. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Beasley's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Okogie. And there's a whistle. That goes on Terry Rozier. That's his fifth thought. Well, one more and that's it. He'll be DQ, disqualified. He's got to be able to defend without picking up that last disqualifying foul. Smith checked in for the Hornets. Pass to Okogie. To the middle. Good on the shot. And with that, the Charlotte lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Vanderbilt. You know, of all the things Okogi does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. McDaniels dishes to Oubre. Just five on the clock. Rogier for three. Minnesota with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Beasley, and it's blocked. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Oubre. Charlotte making a switch here. Bridges checks in. On its way from Beasley for two. That one wide left. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Oubre finds Rogier. Smith outside. In the corner, it's Oubre. Stolen by Beverly. Knocked loose. Oh, and here comes Oubre all alone. Here's Smith. No good. And Minnesota now the other way. Here's Beverly. The pass to Beasley. Inside. Oubre passes to Hayward. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
you know, Hayward's really an outstanding athlete, a sneaky good athlete. He's creative at using his physical abilities to draw fouls inside. And it's hard to believe that Gordon Hayward has been playing for over a decade in the NBA. Now a seasoned vet firmly in the second half of his career. The first one falls, and Hayward has had a bit of a career renaissance lately, looking more and more like his old self. And, Kevin, it's just great to see him playing at this level again. I think it's testament to how much he loves the game of basketball, as well as how badly this guy wants a chance to win a championship. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. You know, Hayward, like a lot of NBA players, is a pretty serious gamer in his free time off the court. And you know what, Kevin? There are some people that think video games help with your hand-eye coordination. I'm not sure if that's the case or not, but I do know there are worse ways to rest up and keep yourself ready for the next real game than what Hayward was doing. Smith outside. Here's Oubre. The rebound by the Timberwolves. And it's Beasley in the corner. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. A Kogi misses. Hornets leading by 11. Now, here's Rogier. 13 points in the game. Driving the lane for three. Oubre. Reed with the rebound. Reeves got four rebounds in this game. Here's Beasley. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Bridges attacking. Reed with the rebound. Reeves got his fifth rebound in this one. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his first foul. Lamelo ball, he's checked in for Charlotte. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for the Timberwolves. Fifty one seconds left in the third quarter. Ball against Beverly. Clock at six. Passes it to Reed for three. A Kogi. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. Hayward's got six rebounds here tonight. Oubre passes to Rozier. Count that one. Rozier's got nine points now in just the second half. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Beverly against Ball. And there's the drive. And Ball comes to help. Here's Akogi. Rozier defending. And the basket by Akogi. Akogi's got his first two points. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floor. Ball, the pass to Rozier. To the middle. Here's Hayward. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. One eye on the rim. One eye on the clock. Nice job. What was really impressive there, though, guys, was that he could have rushed it and panicked, and yet he kept his cool and splashed it. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. 
Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Hornets leading by 13. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Hayward out there with Bridges, and it's Oubre in at the threesome. So that's the Hornets' five. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, I tell you what, you got to like the aggressiveness there from Bridges because he forced the defense that time to commit the foul. And the first one drops. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. All three throws good from Bridges. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Here's Russell, and he drives in. Bridges with the board. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Charlotte Hornets. Pass to Rogier. Calls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Terry Rozier able to play through that challenge and get the shot up and down. Good work. Timberwolves trail by 17. Outside, Russell. To the inside. Prince outside. Three-pointer. Good, and the assist goes to town. Coming into the league, scouts predicted Prince would be a solid 3 and D specialist, and they were spot on. Right side, ball. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Ball's got 20. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Three misses. Hornets leading by 17. Down low, Bridges. No good on that one. Prince with the defensive effort. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That's his third foul of the game. Edwards has come in for Naz Reed. Timberwolves trail by 17. Russell inside. He's covered by Ball. And Russell gets it to go. Taking the hit and still getting it to go down. Russell showing you some nice toughness there. Outside, ball. To the paint. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Anthony Edwards. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. That free throw good from Washington. Well, you know, I think Washington's ability to play inside and outside is going to keep him around the league for a long time. I think he's actually got um, stardom in his future. Plumlee is checked in for Bridges. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Beasley's checked in. Washington hits them both. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Down low, here's Prince, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Prince, a really solid athlete, throwing it down nicely there. 
Now ball. Hayward finds Rozier. Back to Hayward from the arc. That shot off. And Minnesota now the other way. Here's Edwards. Here's the drive. Well, I tell you what, once Edwards accelerates, I mean, he looks like he's playing at a different speed than those around him. Rozier looking around. Outside, ball. And there's the call on Gordon Hewitt. That is his first foul of the game. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Timberwolves trail by 16. Russell from long range. The Hornets pull it in. Trumley's got eight rebounds in this game. For Charlotte, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Rozier kicks the ball. A three-pointer off the mark. The Timberwolves have gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, doctor. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Edwards throwing it down with force. Get this guy in the dunk contest. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Pass to Rozier. Hayward from outside. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got rebound number eight now on the night. Edwards can't hit. Hornets leading by 14. Rozier the pass to Washington. And the rejection by Towns. And it's Russell in the corner. Misses the three. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Edwards against Ball. Hayward on the wing. To the middle. Here's Plumley. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. And the Hornets lead by 16. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. To the inside, Prince. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Plumley's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Hayward kicks to Rozier. Inside, Towns with the steal. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Timberwolves trail by 16. And here's Russell. Shoots the three. And they'll get another chance. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Rozier finds ball. And Rozier, here we go. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And every year, Terry Rozier seems to get better. Specifically, Greg, becoming a more efficient and lethal scorer. I mean, he's improving his percentages over the years, especially his three-point shooting. When he came into the league, was not a threat from deep. Now, you have got to honor that outside shot. That's good from Rozier. Well, a, a lot of people were nervous about Rozier's contract. Signed for big money with the Hornets, but he has more than earned it. You know, at the time, a lot of fans thought it was too much for him, Greg, but to Rozier's credit, he's improved since he inked that deal, and now it's looking like a cap-friendly contract. And both free throws, good for Rozier. You know, Rozier was originally drafted by the Celtics, had to back up Isaiah Thomas and Kyrie Irving, but... It's time to lead has come, and he's answered the bell well. And the Timberwolves call timing. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now.
outside Russell. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him to ease up off the threes. I love the change of pace you see from Hayward. It makes him hard to defend off the dribble. Timberwolves trail by 20. Outside, Russell. Shot from the wing. Prince wide open. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got six assists in the game. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half, looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Rozier kicks the ball. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Edwards going inside. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Hayward's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Edwards. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 12. And Rozier pulls it down. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. It's a tough day so far. And it's sent back by Russell. Well, I tell you what, his teammates love seeing this. So do I. I mean, when Russell is able to block a shot, that's a big bonus. And the Hornets making a change here. Bridges checks in. Timberwolves trail by 17. Outside Russell and the pass to Prince. Knocks down the three ball. Prince has got 11 here in this quarter alone. Now this, this is more like it. Nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. Plumley finds Rogier. Charlotte moving the ball around. Bridges misses. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Russell against Rogier. Here's Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got assist number eight now on the night. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed. Edwards against Ball. Passes it to Washington. Back to Ball. Over Prince. On the money from 12 feet away. Ball's got 25 points in the game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Good on that shot, and with that, the Hornet lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Russell. You know, you look at the floater. It's an effective shot for Russell, but when he doesn't want to go all the way to the rack, you got to have that in your book bag. Rozier up top. He's guarded by Russell. Back to ball. To the paint. Here's Bridges. That one good for two. Bridges has got four this quarter. Boy, look how easily Bridges shoots through the contact there. I mean, his mechanics are strong, as is his body. Russell passes to Prince. Outside, Edwards. Pass to Russell with the shot. That one misses. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. They led the game at one point by 20. Here's Rozier. An easy two points on the layup. He's got 21. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Outside, Russell. Towns for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bulls got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Rogier. And there's the pass to Plumley. Over Towns. Plumley, no luck. Timberwolves trail by 15. 
And there's Edwards on the assist by Russell. Russell's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. And the Hornets call time here. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while, but he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, D'Angelo Russell. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear James Borrego coaching his team during the break. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Thank you, David. Master Russell, beyond the arc, hits the three-point bomb. Russell's got nine points here in the second half. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Ball with it. Picked up by Edwards. Bridges inside. He's up against Beasley. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. Down by 12. Shoots over ball. And the Timberwolves take on two more. And, you know, despite the turmoil Russell has faced early in his career, there you see why he remains one of the league's top young prospects. Outside, ball. He feeds it to Plumlee. Towns with the steal. And now the fast break. Edwards with the ball. Easily outside. Russell against Ball, and another shot, and Russell puts it in. Russell's got it back down to within single digits for the Timberwolves. They're in good position here to ride it out. Well, certainly, if they just play smart, this game's over. Outside, Ball. Bridges for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And the Hornets lead by 11. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. Russell with it. Picked up by Rozier. Russell kicks to Edwards. Off target from three-point range. Washington passes to Rozier. Ball with it. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Gordon, very nice win for you guys tonight. You know, just proud of the way we fought. We thought we shared the basketball pretty well tonight. Played pretty solid defense as well. Um, got the win, so. Great effort tonight, Gordon. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.